Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. So in today's episode we're going to be talking about the things I wish I knew when I started photography. Straight out of the box your camera will be coming through on a JPEG setting. Now you always want to go and change that so go to your photo shooting menu image quality and go and change it to raw or log or whichever profile your camera can shoot in but anything other than JPEG. I'm shooting on a Nikon camera here and next to the lens on the left there is a toggle for auto and manual focus. In that toggle there's a tiny little button. So what I always do is I hold that little button with my thumb and I make the changes on the dial at the back of the camera. The point of this is I want to shoot in autofocus single mode. So I just want one tiny little block on my screen and I can move that around and make sure that I focus where I want to focus. And the camera is not jumping around hunting for focus without me telling it what to do. So I shoot in AFS on a targeted point. When doing product photography you always want to leave some space to the sides. So I took a photo of the entire scene and then I cropped it in a little bit and then I took another photo and I cropped that in a little bit so that the crane is on the right and to the left I have space to put my text in. Now when you shoot this for a company who wants to advertise the product they will always need space on the sides at the top or at the bottom whatever they choose here I have a little Rubik's cube and this little cube is going to be photographed with the foreground in the photo now I've got to really get down low to get the foreground for for this image but what, what you want to do is let the foreground lead the eye. White balance is a tricky bugger. So you can change your camera's white balance manually by going to the Kelvin mode because it's got uh, sunny mode and flash mode and um, outdoor and indoor but I want to go to the Kelvin mode so that I can make sure I choose the right color for the light I'm shooting in. When you let your camera autofocus on something and you don't have the autofocus single point on it will just focus wherever it wants on the item and the item would not look the way you want it to look. So what I always do is like I said I like to use the AFS point so that I can choose the focus point but your camera uses contrast to latch on to. So if there's not so much contrast in your item the camera will have a very hard time trying to latch on to a contrasty portion so that it can focus on it. So here I tap to the left and what it does it's now hunting hunting trying to find one little dark spot on the wood so it can latch onto that. But I want to focus on this cup. So when I try and focus on this cup you'll see that the camera is now starting to jump around. The focus uh, little focus square is hunting it's running around trying to find focus. Now it latches onto the back of the mug which is not what I initially wanted. I wanted the front of the mug. So now when I retouch it again, you see it's hunting for focus. It's going in and out of focus, in and out of focus. I'm not doing anything here. The camera is doing it on its own because it's trying to find a contrasty part so that it can latch on. So let's give it a contrasty part. Click on the front and there you go. Photo in focus. <laughs> budget is definitely not a sin and it's definitely not cheating. So when you enter a photo competition there are normally certain rules of engagement as to how much and to what extent you can manipulate or edit your photos. When we shoot our photos we normally have our cameras in a raw mode 
and in a very flat picture profile. Now, those photos have a much better dynamic range, but straight out of camera, they look extremely flat. So for that purpose, you need to take those photos, import them into a photo editing program, and then manipulate them to tweak the dynamic range so that all the colors pop, the highlights are not blown out, and the darks are not grainy. So it's definitely not cheating. Make sure that you get a good editing program and pull all your photos in there and make them pretty before you post them. Well, that's it for today's lesson. And I really hope that you've learned some things from what I struggled with when I started photography and things that I really wish I knew when I started out. This would have saved me a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of money. So make sure that you check out this video whenever you decide to purchase your first camera or if you already have an existing camera, but some of these things you didn't know, please go and practice them and keep shooting.